Hi, I'm Angie. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for milk chocolate oatmeal cookies. And like any cookie recipe, we're going to start with our dry ingredients and combine them. I've got one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add one half teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to use a whisk to mix that up. And then you can just set that aside and go on to the wet ingredients. Okay, the first thing I did was preheat the oven to 375 degrees, and now I'm going to cream it in my electric mixer, three quarters of a cup of softened butter. That's one and a half sticks. And you just want to cream that up first. Now I'm going to add the sugar. I've got three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar and a third of a cup of regular granulated sugar. And you just want to cream that into the butter. You can stop the mixer and scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure it's all creamed together. Now I'm going to add one large egg and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Just beat that up. Okay, now I'm going to gradually beat in the flour mixture that we already made along with two tablespoons of milk. I'll just do this with the mixer running. Now I'm going to stir in one and three quarter cups of milk chocolate chips. And one cup of quick cooking or old fashioned oats. I like to use half and half. I like to use a medium ice cream scoop. And I'm going to bake these at 375 for 10 to 14 minutes. So I'll pop these in the oven and I'll show them to you when they're done. Okay, it's been about 11 minutes and you just want to cook them until the edges are cooked and the centers are still a little bit soft. Let them sit on the cookie sheet for two minutes and then remove them to the wire rack to cool. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll enjoy some milk chocolate oatmeal cookies.